in a market consumed by a range, the Genesis G70 electrified might not get a lot of attention, but oftentimes the cars that deserve the most attention get the least from consumers. And this, I think, is one of those cases because if the car's range fits your actual use case, this thing is comfortable, calm, composed. It's also balletic in the way it moves. It's a really confidence-inspiring car, really pleasurable to drive. Um, it's supposed to be a Macan competitor, and I think they really aced the Macan competitiveness with all but one thing, the brake pedal as in many electrified vehicles, is not really up to par. I'd say Porsche's Taycan and electrified vehicles are not necessarily the greatest in this regard either, but uh, at least those cars uh, have a slightly more progressive pedal than this one. And by slightly, I do mean slightly. But I would say other than the brake pedal on this, there is nothing about it that I didn't really gel with dynamically. And it's got multiple modes. So based upon the mode, you can calm it down or perk it up as you see fit. So I think it's a really, uh, sorry about the gonging, but it's a really pleasurable car to, oh boy. Okay, I found the second thing I don't like. It doesn't know that I'm in park. <laughs> but yeah, lovely car, uh, available in electric and gas. I think I'll be trying the gas version next to see if that transfers over. But the electric version here in the G70 is a really interesting thing because you have um, this calm and uh, intense car in one and so many different settings for customization. So uh, I know this is a quick and dirty video with a lot of uh, background distraction and I'm really just maneuvering around a parking lot, but get out and drive one of these things and I think you'll be impressed. I certainly was.